Hey lovies, thank you so much for tuning in. So today, um, by the title you already know, I will be discussing my symptoms that I had, that I experienced or that I went through um, that, you know, indicated that I could potentially be carrying twins. So I will start with sort of the pre, you know, pregnancy symptoms, right? Um, so before I even thought or could even think about a twin pregnancy, initially, um, I remember I used to bike my kids to school. So one morning I woke up and I felt I was so drained. I was, I felt so tired that I thought, my gosh, am I low in iron? But I went through the day and, and I was okay and I would get okay in the evenings, but the mornings were rough, like getting my kids ready. And I had a girlfriend of mine who would actually help me pick, uh, we, our children went to the same school and she literally lived like two minutes away from me. Um, hi, Sola. Uh, she would actually come and pick my daughter up and take her to school on days when she wasn't working early. And so... But some of the days, and I think this was around the time when I would take her often and the mornings were just rough and I am naturally, I'm not a morning person. So I brushed it off and I thought, oh, it's low iron, must be low iron. So I went on about my day and it was okay. And I kept, um, I would stay home with my son about the third day of the con consistent you know, literally waking up feeling like I need to get myself back to sleep, right? Um, my kids would come into my room actually and wake me up. And I said to myself, you know what? Let me just eat early, get energy going and, and see how I go. And sure enough, it just kept getting worse. Now it started sleeping into the afternoon. So I would start um, my morning super tired and then over time, you know, I'd get my energy, especially after dropping my daughter off at school. Then I'd come back with my son and we'd do some activities and then he'd go for his nap. Y'all, I'm telling you, I wouldn't get through half our activities. I would literally be on the couch with him and I'm gone. And I, I just wake up and realize, oh my God, I fell asleep. And that's how quick the fatigue was. And it got to a point now where it was debilitating. Like I couldn't do anything. I couldn't prep dinner. I couldn't make lunch for us. It was a hot mess. And so I said to my husband, look, I think, um, I think something's wrong with me. Like my health, I need to get myself checked. And he was like, yep, get onto that as soon as you can. But you know how it is. You just keep going with the flow. You know, us moms, like, that's usually like with me personally, that's the last thing I think about, you know, I'm always thinking, okay, how can I do, but it got to a point where I couldn't do anything, you know, like I'm always thinking I need to do A, B, C, and D first, and then maybe I'll go ring, you know, and, and open and get an appointment to go see my GP. Before that, I couldn't even do anything. I'll just be at home. My husband would say, are you all right? Like dinner's not prepped. The house is a hot mess and this is not like you, right? And anyone who knows me, that's not like me. So um, I said to him, I'm just not feeling well. So this particular weekend, um, I was sleeping on my tummy, right? I woke up and I just turned to my onto my tummy and I could feel like a, a, a round ball, like a tennis, tennis ball that had been shoved in my tummy. I felt like I was on top of a ball. It was the weirdest feeling. It's almost like having a full bladder, right? When you sleep on your tummy, you feel the full bladder. Just the pressure. It was the same sensation, but just a tough ball, like on my lower pelvis. So I thought, mm, all right, this is strange. This is different. To the point, it, it felt so uncomfortable sleeping on my tummy that I had to sleep on my side. And at this point, I'm like, this is definitely not pregnancy because you don't even feel anything until maybe like second trimester, right? Um. Anyway, so... The next, the next time I felt something strange was I was getting my daughter ready for school and there I am biking and y'all like I couldn't, I, like I'm there trying to pedal my way through. I just had no energy whatsoever and I had already started like having breakfast early and all that. So then I thought, okay, let me just go get a pregnancy test because you know. So I went, I got one, got home, did the pregnancy test and sure enough, I was pregnant. 
And the strangest thing is I didn't have any like swollen boobs, like the typical signs, apart from the fatigue. Um, I didn't have any of those, which is so strange from my first kiss. So that probably should have been the first indicator, right? Then, um, apart from the fatigue, and then I started craving, right? I started craving really, um, really bad food. I started craving like hamburgers and hot dogs were like mm, with mustard and you know tomato sauce and um i one day i just biked and i grabbed them and um my husband thought yo you're really ripping into these hot dogs <laughs> i would actually have them for breakfast lunch and dinner until i got sick of them so meanwhile i had an appointment to see my gp and went to see my gp we did bloods and then had a follow-up appointment at the follow-up appointment he says to me Oh, um, at the moment, you're probably around 9 or 10 weeks. I said, no, there's no way I'm at 9 or 10 weeks. He said, like, yeah, you are. And I said, no, I just, I know when I had my last, um, my last menstruation and it's not 7 or 9 weeks ago, like for sure. And he said, oh, then maybe, and he said this so jokingly, like, oh, yeah, yeah, you might be having twins then. And we laughed about it. And I was like, oh, my God, I would love that. And he laughed and he said, okay, we'll book your next bloods, um, such and such a week. Cool. So this was literally, I think, I want to say we found out March the 18th is when I did my test. Um, and then in between there, I went to see my GP, did the bloods, did the follow-up appointment. By this time, as we all know, the pandemic had, um, had gone worldwide and it was already um, quite strong in Australia, in Melbourne. Um, although places weren't shut down, there was discussion about, you know, lockdowns. And at this point, and with the uncertainty, I personally didn't feel safe. You know, <laughs> I know it sounds wild, but I actually didn't feel, I, I didn't feel um, like I could stay uh, in Melbourne the for the whole duration of the pregnancy um, with uncertainty with health and everything. Because you guys know we are New Zealanders. So I, and also I'm not used to the Australian healthcare system when it comes, particularly when it comes to pregnancies. And I also have um, other past experiences where I prefer to, I had the same midwife with my son as um, that I had with my, with my uh, daughter. I wanted to have the same midwife. <laughs> I wanted to have the same birth process. I just think people who know your body, you know, all of that, all of that charade. So I said to my husband, I proposed that one day that I'll come back with the kids. The kids were not going to school already. So I said, look, I'll, come, I'll, go, I'll go back to New Zealand with the kids and I'll go through majority of the pregnancy in New Zealand until all of this uncertainty boils over. And you know, it's wild at the time because I was like, oh, you could be coming in like maybe every month or two or like twice a month. Um, to check up on us, not even realizing that there would be severe lockdowns, you know. Um, but anyway, nevertheless, by March 26th, that's when we were already in New Zealand because New Zealand had um, announced a level four lockdown by then. So I wanted to get my kids here. And um, so we decided, you know, to rough it out. <laughs> and I was staying with my in-laws at the time. So here we are in New Zealand. Then I think now I was about seven, seven or eight weeks along. When I tell y'all that morning sickness, that's when it really began. Around my seventh, my seventh week, seventh or eighth week, it was rough. I had nausea. I was nauseous every morning and all, anything I would eat would feel like it was about to come up. And the only thing I could actually get down was a uh, toast just plain toast and tea tea with no milk oh i have my tea with milk i know a lot of people don't have their tea with milk but yeah i have mine with milk <laughs> um and that's the only thing that would do it for me and so i had um a lot of headaches as well so no sorry the headaches actually started along with the um fatigue so that's why i thought it was lack of iron but no it was twin pregnancy so I had nauseous, I was vomiting all the time. Like if I wasn't vomiting, um, I was feeling like I was about to vomit every day, all the time and feeling fatigued. Like 
it's like someone would just hold me down to my bed. <laughs> That's really what it felt like. And you can imagine going through this with two kids, with a seven and a three-year-old, right? Wild. But nevertheless, we did it. We did it. And those were the initial signs that I was pregnant um, with twins in, in, that, in the sense that it was a lot wilder and a lot stronger than um, what I experienced with my two singleton pregnancies. Then at about 10 weeks, I remember at this point, I hadn't had any appointments because they were limiting a lot of contact. Um, and if it wasn't necessary for you to go do a scan, you didn't do it, right? So I remember at 10 weeks, uh, sending a video to my midwife, like, yo, I'm 10 weeks pregnant, but this time we game, this time it looks, looks like it's a little far along than what I'm used to. And at this point, this is when I started suspecting that maybe I'm pregnant with twins because y'all, I was just big, right? My tummy was huge. Now I'm going to insert that video that I sent to her, um, right here. So I thought I'd do a video and show you how big it is. Look at this. What is going on? It's huge for 10 weeks. What? Look. Look at it. What? I don't even know. Is this even normal? Because <laughs> this is wild. I think I look about like four months pregnant or something. Anyway, <laughs> let me know if this is strange. <laughs> so, as y'all can see, right? <laughs> That's a big tummy. And her immediate response was like, what? And she goes, twins? Question mark, question mark, right? And at that point, I was like, for sure I'm pregnant with twins because the headaches, like the migraines, it felt like a migraine. The headache was just heavy. I couldn't look in the, in the sun. It was just wild, super sensitive to noise or anything that was just too harsh. And then the extreme, like it almost felt like um, I had gone for a run. Like my, my muscles were so sore. Felt like I had gone for a run. I felt like I just wanted to stay in my bed the whole day, nothing else. Um, but then I think she, she gave me some reassurance when she suspected that it was twins. Cause I thought, yeah, for sure this has to be a twin pregnancy. So then she booked me in for a scan and we had our first scan, I think at about 12 weeks and, um, I'll insert the scan here. <laughs> Um, and that's a photo of my babies. Twin A is the one at the bottom and twin B is the one at the top. Separate sex and separate heartbeats. Everything was perfect. At this stage, it was just like, oh my God, we're pregnant with twins. It's finally happening. Um, at about 12 weeks, at about 12 weeks, we went and did the scan. And sure enough, um, we were pregnant with twins. And I remember saying to the lady, I knew it. I knew I was pregnant with twins. Because <laughs> it's been a rough three weeks. <laughs> it has been a rough three weeks. Um, uh, but anyway, it was awesome. And um, so those were my symptoms. So now let's recap, right? Um, extreme fatigue that you, f you literally cannot do anything. Like you can't cook, clean, you cannot um, vacuum, you cannot get your kids ready for school. You can't even brush your teeth type of fatigue, right? Um, the second one was sore muscles um, and a headache that just will not go away. Um, sore muscles and a headache that will not go away. Uh, the third one um, is feeling that Obviously a bloated, but I thought I was bloated anyway, right? My tummy did look big and feeling something in there, like a ball, like a hard ball in there. Um, yeah. So those were my symptoms that, um, that told me that I was having a twin pregnancy and the extreme vomiting and nausea. My gosh, you know, so I just want to give a note out there to twin mummies. You are super special. The journey that we went through or that you, if you're watching this and you are currently suspecting that you're pregnant with twins or you have just found out that you are pregnant with twins, let me tell you something. It is going to be hard on your body, but enjoy it. Enjoy it because soon it will be over. 
and it's such a special it's it's a special it's an honor to be pregnant with twins you know and you've got this you were made for this you know your body is strong enough to get you get yourself through it um but ultimately you're gonna have a blast when those babies are there get as much rest as you can <laughs> But um, I'll leave it there for today. Um, if you guys, again, have any questions, you let me know. And if you let me know what you're going through or what your symptoms were. If you're here and you're, you're a twin mummy, let me know what your symptoms were that alerted you that you were pregnant with twins or that, you know, triggered that speculation in you. But ultimately, guys, um, enjoy your pregnancy. Enjoy your pregnancy. Um, you're only going to go through this once. I know some women do it twice. You know what? You are just super strong. You are a superwoman because I just could never, ever imagine doing this again. <laughs> I love my babies, but you know how it is. Yeah. So I'll catch you guys on the next video. Comment below and let me know what content you would like to hear or what you'd want me to um, speak on next. All right, lovies. Ciao. <laughs>